where news comes first. This is WECT News at 11. Thanks so much for joining us for WECT News at 11. I'm Daniela Hinkey. Hundreds of people came together all to pray for one cancer patient. Isabella Strahan is former NFL player Michael Strahan's daughter. Late last year, she was diagnosed with brain cancer. Well, tonight she came back to her hometown for a candlelight prayer. WCT's Delaney Tarpley was at that prayer tonight. Delaney, Isabella's mom told you that although it's been tough, she now wants to raise awareness. That's right, Daniela. She says watching her daughter take all of this on at only 20 years old is inspiring. That's why she wants to share her story. A prayer lifted up. We're praying for a miracle. And she spe spent most of six months in a hospital, like a lot of visits and stays and surgeries. Isabella Strahan, the daughter of former NFL player Michael Strahan, was diagnosed with brain cancer late last year. Since then, her mom, Jean, says the journey has been a tough one, filled with good and bad. But the love and support is what's helping Isabella get through the journey. She's just going through a very difficult time, so it's nice to know that people want to make her feel loved. At a candlelight prayer Friday, hundreds gathered to pray for Isabella's quick healing. It's been a long journey. Isabella has already had three brain surgeries, and it doesn't stop there as she's getting ready for more chemotherapy. So she's got two rounds under her belt and Monday she starts her third round, which is pretty taxing on her. But it's the community and her hometown in Wilmington that's supporting and cheering for Isabella. And although Isabella is going through a tough time, through it all she's remained positive and has made an impact in the community. I mean, it just makes you realize like your child really made an impact. Like she was a kind, sweet child, and she still is that person today. While many came out to pray for Isabella, they also want to raise awareness, specifically for brain cancer. You know, unfortunately, cancer is a disease that we're seeing more and more of. There's actually a blood shortage, and my daughter needed three transfusions last month alone. Praying is such a gift, but boy, there's a gift in a bag every time you give blood. A homecoming for Isabella, that showed she's not fighting this battle alone. It feels so good to have her back in Wilmington. This was the right community for us to move to, and my kids were so blessed to grow up amongst these great, great people here. Isabella will begin her third round of treatment on Monday at Duke. She's been very open about her entire cancer journey by posting on social media. We'll have the links inside the story to her accounts if you would like to follow along. I know a lot of people have been following her story, and of course, we are wishing her the best of luck. Delaney, thanks.